What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a ton of brand new free jailbreak tweaks that are all going to work with A12 devices. So in this video, I'm gonna be using the iPhone XS Max. If you're using an older device and it's not an A12 device, most if not all of these jailbreak tweaks should still work. You'll just have to test them out. So I'm also using the Chimera jailbreak because that's the only jailbreak that's viable for the A12 devices right now. So if you're using Uncover and using an older device, these tweaks should still be working on your phone. Now, as you guys know, I'm a little bit late to the A12 jailbreak scene, and usually I put out a perfect jailbroken setup shortly after a jailbreak's release. So I was wondering if you guys are still interested in seeing a perfect jailbroken setup video. If you are, make sure you hit the like button on this video to let me know. I'll just kind of gauge the consensus, and if you guys want one, I'll get one out as soon as I can. But let's go ahead and get into these tweaks. I'm gonna try to go through them as quickly as possible because there's a ton of them. All right, let's get into it. First up, we have a tweet called Animor. So what this tweet does is give you those iOS 12.2 and emoji. So you can see right here, you get the new boar, you get the new giraffe, you get the owl, and then you have the shark. The shark is definitely the coolest one because it has the tail. I don't think any other emojis have the tails. But these emojis are only available on iOS 12.2 unless you download Animor, and then you can use them just as you could if you were on the latest firmware. Next up, we have a tweet called Apple File Conduit 2. And rather than just showing you what this does, I'm gonna explain it because it's actually really simple. So what this tweet does is once you download it on your phone, this is going to give you file system access to everything on your iPhone if you plug it in over USB to your Windows PC or your Mac. So the only thing that you need to do is download this tweak, plug your phone into your PC, and then download software like iFunbox. And iFunbox is going to be just basically like an explorer, a file manager. And iFunbox is just gonna be like kind of like a Windows Explorer or a, a file manager that's going to allow you to search and navigate through all the directory trees on your device. Next up, we have a tweet called Apps Manager. And what this does is it allows you to back up entire applications and move them from device to device. It even has a little explanation right here. It's going to allow you to wipe backup or restore app data for your installed app. And you can use that to transfer all the data across devices. So it's really simple to do. If you just click OK, right down here at the bottom, you have all of your applications tab, your backups, and your settings. So if you just tap on an application right here, you're gonna get all the information for that particular application. Then you can just tap right here and back up your device. If it is backed up, then this restore button will be highlighted and you can also just wipe all that information as well. If you do back up an, ap an application, it will go into this tab right here and then you'll have all those backups. Next is a tweet called Artistry. So what this does is put album artwork next to all playlists in Spotify. So if I just tap on one of these playlists, you're gonna see all your album artwork right next to the song in all your playlists. It's actually pretty nice. Next up, we have a tweet called Auto Unlock X, and I love this tweak. What it does is it takes away that annoying swipe up in order for Face ID to activate. So if you look at your phone, it's going to unlock your device, and if you don't have any notifications on your lock screen, it's going to automatically go to the home screen. If you do have notifications, it'll just unlock your device. So for instance, if we go ahead and activate this, you can see it auto unlocks and goes straight to the home screen. Those were all old notifications on my lock screen, by the way. So that's why it unlocked. Next, we have Bar Moji. Bar Moji is one of the tweaks that I've used several times before, and it's another one that I love because it's really simple and it makes sense. So normally right down here, you have a really just empty space that's not used at all. And what this does is actually use that empty space for all of your recent emojis. So in your settings, you can set this up to use whatever emojis you want if you wanna set them to a particular emoji, or if you just set them to your recent emojis, then it's going to put all your recently used emojis down here. And then they just have quick access for tapping on those, and then you can send them right off. Next tweak is a really simple one. It's called Battery Percent X. And rather than having the battery icon right up here in the top right hand corner, it gives you a percentage. It also changes the color depending on whether you're in low power mode, it'll go to yellow. If it's charging, it'll be green. And if it's not charging, it'll just be white. And if you get below 20%, it'll go red. Next, we have a tweak called Better Settings. So what this does is give you some customization to your settings. And I'm actually using one of the default themes that it allowed me uh, to use right when you install the tweak. So you can see right here, there's actually a small bubble. I don't actually know if you can see very well on the video, but there are some bubbles 
uh, around the actual text and the menus and everything. But with this tweak, actually, if you go down here and go to uh, the better settings preferences, you're actually not going to get your preferences right here, which is unfortunate. It's one of the tweaks that is still kind of broken. So once you install the tweak, it's gonna give you four options and you can select one of those four options. I think there's four options, maybe there's only three, uh, but this is the dark clean version. So if you want your settings to look like this, just select the dark clean version right when you open up your settings and it'll give you this UI. Next up, we have a tweak called boulders. This is a tweak for your folders and it allows you to do several different things. You can see, uh, your label options right here, so you can change a ton of different things. I'm gonna let you guys go through this uh, if you want to, just because I'm trying to go through all these pretty quick. You can also change the icon layout, so you can have rows per page and you can have, can have icons per row. Also, if you do screw up any of these settings and your folders are just really jacked up, you do have the reset button right up here at the top, so you can always use that. But let's go ahead and jump into a folder here, and it actually takes up the entire screen. So it doesn't have the little uh, I guess folder animation or the square that you would normally see it's actually taking up the entire screen for your folders Not only that but it does show you how many applications you have in that folder as well as making this text right up here in the top left hand corner bold But again, you can change this up and customize it to your liking You'll just have to tinker with it yourself Next up we have a tweak called bubbles and this is one of those tweaks that only kind of works just because the settings doesn't allow you to customize anything just yet because the preferences are broken. But when you download this by default it's going to make your text bubbles in the background of your recipient black. Which in my opinion is better than gray so I'm still using it. Next is call blocker and this is a tweak that if you enable you can block unknown numbers, you can block specific numbers or you can even block numbers that start with a specific area code or start with the specific um, numbers in a row. So if you're like blocking out an entire area code for some reason, you can do that with this tweak. Next tweak is called CarPlay Lockout. This is one that I'm not going to be able to show you guys, but what it does is when you plug in your phone into CarPlay, it actually gives you a splash screen and it locks your device and it takes like you know, five seconds for it to go away. Then you have to unlock your device again and open it up. It's just really annoying and kind of a nuisance. But what CarPlay Lockout does is it removes that entirely. You just plug in your device and you don't have to worry about it giving you that CarPlay lock screen or splash screen and then you having to lock and unlock your device. It's been really nice to have that on for the past couple of days. Next is CC on and off. So if you're not a fan of how Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turn off when you toggle it off in your control center by just turning off for you know a little while or whatever. This is actually going to disable it completely like a lot of people think it should. So CC on and off, if that's how you want your toggles to work, then you can download this tweak. Next up, we have a tweak called Chroma. And what this tweak does, as you can see right up here, is it randomly changes uh, different UI elements on your device randomly and continuously. So you can even see on the lock screen here that we have some different text colors that's changing right here. And if we slide to unlock, it's gonna translate over here into our battery and our date and time. It also changed, I thought the dock down there, but it doesn't seem to have changed from that green color since we started. Not one of my favorite tweaks, but if you're into that kind of thing, you can download Chroma. Next is Chromagram. So what this does is it's very similar to the Chroma. It just gives you different colorizations for Instagram. Now this is one that is static, so it doesn't automatically change all the time, which is nice. So you can see right now that I'm using a black background with red or kind of pink colors for some of the text and the white accents. So you can all change this up uh, right in your settings and the preferences do work for this one. So you can see you just enable this, you can uh, add a couple more toggles like hide separator lines, you can darken alerts, darken the keyboard, and then you have your three primary colors here for your background and your primary and secondary. Once you apply the changes, it'll respring, and then you can use those colors inside of Instagram. It's pretty nice. Next up is Colorboard. So what Colorboard does is take a particular application's uh, primary color and change the keyboard to that color. So for instance, if we go, actually let's just see what, yeah, so it's gray right here. If we open up our messages, you can see that it's green because the messages is green. Let's open up the App Store. and you can see it's a dark blue right here. So it just depends on the color of the application. That's gonna be what color your keyboard changes to. 
Next is a pretty similar tweak in the way that it works and it's called Color Me Badge. So what Color Me Badge does is it takes one of the primary colors from your application icon and it's going to use that for the badge notification color as well. So you can see we have green right here, we have red right here, gray, it's kind of blue or turquoise green, and then we have the green over here, blue, we have the pink right there, orange. So you basically can see what this does. It just colorizes your badges and tries to match to that particular icon. Next is a tweak called Dark Chrome. This is a really simple one to explain because what it does is it makes Chrome dark. So if you actually use Chrome on your iOS device, then it's going to be dark. Basically, it looks like you're in incognito mode at all times. So if you do install this, make sure that you don't get those too confused. Next is a tweak called Dim Me, and this is another one that I'm going to let you guys uh, kind of tinker with just because there's a lot of toggles and there's a lot of different settings that you can set up uh, for this particular tweak. But in essence, what it does is allow you to change the delay time that it takes to dim your device. So by default, it's obviously at default, but you can change this dim delay time up to 10 minutes. And you can even change the dim delay on the lock screen to 10 minutes. And if you go all the way to the auto lock delay, you can turn that on to never. You also have a couple more settings right up here where you have settings for your accelerometer and your lock screen notifications. Uh, you can go through all that yourself. What I use it for, for the most part, is just the delay time, just because I don't want my phone to dim, especially when I'm doing, you know, tweak videos like this. Next up, we have a tweak called Double Cut. And what this tweak does is allow you to double tap on the at sign to input your email address. And I say email address, you can actually make it do whatever you want to. I just use it for the email address. If we go over here to the actual settings, you can see right here at the at sign double, you can put in whatever you want to just by typing it right there. You also have add snippets right up here if you wanna make your custom one. So if you don't wanna use the at symbol, you wanna use something else, we well can do so just by adding it right here. Next up, we have a tweak called double tap lock. So what double tap lock does is allow you to double tap on the home screen and it's going to lock the device just like that. That way you don't have to hit that power button. Next is another staple tweak that I always have on all my devices and this one's called drag screen. So this is actually a different name and a different tweak but it does the exact same thing that I always like to have and it's just being able to swipe down in your settings to respring your device and it's as simple as that. Next up we have a tweak called Dune and this is going to give you a dark iOS. So this is a free version of something like Eclipse. So just make sure that you enable it. You can select the mode right here to dark. You have darker or black. And then you can set things up depending on which UI elements you want to be dark right down here. Uh, right now I have a whole lot of tweaks installed. So some of the tweaks are overriding some of the Dune uh, UI elements. But for instance, you can see that my dark, I mean my, my dock is dark uh, right down here. And I think it looks pretty good. Actually, I probably didn't change. Uh, yeah, so I have dark UI elements here for the 3D press. On application so it's a really nice tweak to have since it's free next we have a tweak called easy edit alarms I really like this tweak just because you don't have to hit edit anymore up in the top left hand corner all you have to do on these uh, these timers is just tap on it and then you can edit it straight from there you don't have to hit edit to actually edit it so that's all this tweak does really small tweak but a nice one to have Next up, we have a tweak called iPlugs, and this is a really simple tweak as well. So in particular applications that you select, you can block banner notifications. So you're not gonna get banner notifications when you're inside that application. So you literally just go in here, you select the application, and then it's going to block notifications while you have that application open. Next is a tweak I didn't know I needed until I downloaded it. It's called Fast Copy, and what it does is it actually removes the delay for the menu when it comes up for copy and pasting. So for instance, if we were just gonna type something, you would usually get just a small delay when you tried to open up this copy and paste menu. So if we select all, we'll get the copy, and then we got the paste right there. So it just removes that artificial delay that's put there for some reason that I don't know why when you're doing text editing. Next is Falza. You definitely need this tweak. It's another one of the staples in everybody's jailbroken device. They need to download Falza just because it's going to allow you to access basically every single file on your device right here inside your phone. Just make sure you're not poking around there. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to like brick your phone. Next is Five Icon Dock, but you can't guess what that one does. It allows you to put an extra application right down there in your dock, which I have right here, Cilio. 
Next is a tweak called Hidebar X. This is another one that I install every single time that I jailbreak my device. It gets rid of that bar that you would normally have at the bottom of your phone if you have an iPhone 10 or higher. Uh, the one that I see the most is, is on the lock screen. You're actually not gonna see it on my lock screen because I have a different lock screen installed, but normally when you go to your lock screen, you would see a bar right down here and it would move up just a little bit to show you or to tell you to swipe up. So I don't have that right now. I have the iOS 6 lock screen, which I'll get to here in just a minute. Next, another one that I always installed is called Hide Dots. So this just gets rid of those dots right down here at the bottom that show you how many pages you have on your device. I just don't need them. I don't ever use them or anything like that. So it's just nicer if they're not there. Next, we have Hide Labels 12. So what that does is get rid of those icon labels under all your icons for that nice, minimalistic and clean look. Next we have iCleaner Pro. You guys probably know about this tweak. It's been around for a long time. Basically what this does is clean up all those temporary files in your phone and allow you to free up some space. So you literally just open it up just like this. You tap on clean, you let it do its thing. It'll probably show you an ad and then it'll respring your device, but it'll tell you how much uh, information it actually cleans up. So this is the first time I've actually done it on this device. So let's see how much it cleans up. All right, so we'll just X out of this ad. And we cleaned up 6.38 gigs. So not too bad. This is a 256 gig uh, device. So usually the larger the device with the larger amount of storage, the more it's going to clean up. So obviously you don't think you're gonna get this if you're using a 32 gigabyte device or anything like that, but it's still good for cleaning up space. Next week is IP on CC. So what this does is actually put your IP address for your cell phone, your Wi-Fi, and USB right there in your control center. So if you want to have quick access to that, then you can download this tweak. So next up we have a tweak called Keyboard Accio, which is I think how you pronounce it. But basically what this does is if you have more than two keyboards on your device, which I do. You can see I have the uh, English, the emoji, and the Chinese pinion. And I have the Chinese pinion keyboard just because this gives me access to some of those emojis that are just kind of built in. So if you guys don't know about these, you can see if you tap on this, it gives you just a ton of uh, basically emojis right here. They're not emojis, I can't remember the name of them right now. But basically what that does is it gives you access to those, but what this tweak does is actually only cycle through the top two keyboards. So most of the time, like 90% of the time, or even more than that, 99% of the time, I just want my emojis and my English keyboard. So if I just tap on this, then it's not gonna cycle through that third keyboard. In order to get to that third keyboard, you have to hold and then select it. So that's a really nice tweak to have uh, if you have multiple keyboards. Next is Kill X. What this does is kill all applications if you swipe down on an application, just like that in the app switcher. And then you can see none of the apps are still open. Melior is a really nice tweak that allows you to change the volume HUD. So of course, nobody likes the volume HUD that iOS still has, but this one is really nice and it's a free tweak and it just throws it up there in the top left-hand corner. Next up is a tweak called MISC settings. So this just has a ton of miscellaneous settings. Right now I actually don't even have it enabled, but you enable it right here. You have status bar settings, lock screen, springboard, and control center. And you can see there's actually a ton of different settings that you can uh, utilize right here. So you can hide your location, you can hide airplay, you can uh, hide your status bar on the lock screen. All these emblems you can hide if you want to. Over here on the lock screen, you can see you can hide the today view, hide the now playing, hide unlock text. Basically, it's just allowing you to clean up your UI if you wanna get rid of some stuff or you just wanna customize things and tweak them just a little bit. But there's a lot of settings that you can go through here. Again, it's free, so you can check it out for yourself. Next is 6LS. So this is that iOS 6 style lock screen that you've already probably seen as I've been going through uh, to my lock screen here. But if I go ahead and just tap it to open it up. You can see we have the slide to unlock right here. The same old school uh, text right there. The only problem is that swipe to unlock, but you can get rid of that with something like miscellaneous settings. Um, also, if you have notifications on your lock screen, you just hold on the emblem and then swipe it over and it's gonna open up that notification. Same thing for slide to unlock right here. Next is Mitsuha Infinity. And what this does is give you an audio visualizer on your music widget. So somewhere like your lock screen, if you're playing something, you can see that we have a nice little audio visualizer. 
uh, going on there, right there on the widget. Next is new term two. Now this is not a sexy tweak by any means, but it is very useful in some situations. So if you ever need a terminal on your device, then this is a good one to have. Next is no beta expired alert. This tweak is pretty self-explanatory. If you are getting these notifications because you were on beta and you're jailbroken, then you definitely wanna download this tweak to get rid of those and never see them again. Next is a really simple one. It's called no CC bar. Sometimes you'll see that bar right up there in the top right hand corner to, to indicate that you can pull it down in order to open up your uh, control center, but this tweak is going to get rid of that bar. No older notifications gone. This is something that you would normally see on your lock screen when you don't have any older notifications, just swiping from the bottom and scrolling up. But with this tweak, it's actually going to get rid of that text so you'll never see it again. Now you're probably wondering about this tweak right here that's changing the color of all these notifications. Uh, this is called Notifica, and this is going to allow you to change or customize uh, your notifications right here as you can see I have on my lock screen here. Also if you jump into the Notifica settings you can obviously customize this uh, to your liking as well. You have widgets, banners, notification, notification center. There's just a lot of different things you can go through and you can customize up a little bit but I'll let you guys discover all that on your own. Next is Perfect Time 10s. This is going to change the format of the time and it's going to add the date or the day right up here at the top. So you can see right here this was a little bit finicky for me. Uh, how I have mine set up, I have the day and then the time. So it's Saturday at 1.02 in the morning. And you can see that you have this enabled for a specific portion. I have two enabled, one of them being the time and the other one being uh, the day. And it was a little bit finicky. Uh, this is how I have mine set up. If you guys wanna copy it, it's basically just the day and the time. So this is using font size 12, format is E, apparently that is a day. And then down here I have it set up for the time, so I have hour, hour, and then minute, minute. So you can change the font size if you wanna make it bigger, smaller, it will stack on top if there's not enough room, rather than being side by side. So if you wanna do that, just make the font size a little bit bigger and just tinker around with it however you'd like. Next up is power module. So this is going to add a module to your control center that you can see right here. Uh, the easiest way to see what they all do is just tap and hold on it to expand it. So you have the respring button, you can run UI cache, safe mode, reboot, power down, or go directly to the lock screen. So the lock screen one, you know, if you want to use it, I guess, but the other ones are pretty helpful if you ever need to use them. Keep in mind all the control center uh, module tweaks and toggles and everything, you have to actually uh, add them to your control center just from the settings if you guys don't know how to do that. Uh, you can just go here, down to settings, right under general should be your control center, customize controls, and then you can add them in uh, right down here. Now if you don't like doing all that stuff inside your control center, then you can download the Power App. And that's basically all that this does. It's an application that does the exact same thing. It's not the most beautiful UI that you've ever seen in your life, but it works, it's straightforward, and it's good to have if you want it in an application. Next is Safari Plus. This is basically going to enhance Safari, add a whole lot more options uh, to it. Uh, I wouldn't say it makes it necessarily more complicated, but if you want to add all of these different things, it could be a little bit convoluted, but there are quite a bit of features that you can do. So just quickly, if we go into general, you can force HTTPS, you can add and uh, open a new tab option. You can open an opposite mode option. This is going to allow you to switch from normal to private mode. Um, also down here you can upload any file, you can use the desktop mode switch, also long press uh, for different suggestions. If we hop out and we go back just to, let's just say uh, action add-ons, you have several more options. I'll let you guys just read through all of these. Uh, same thing for gesture add-ons. It's just a nice thing to have and if you want to kind of be a power user of Safari, then you should download this and check out the different features that it have. Even if it just adds, you know, two or three different features that you want to have in Safari, then it's worth downloading. Next is a tweak called Quick Wi-Fi. What this tweak does is allow you to quickly switch your Wi-Fi network directly from your control center. So if we just swipe down our control center, we tap right here, it's gonna go directly into our settings, it's gonna scan all the wireless networks, and it's going to allow us to connect to one if we want to. I'm connected to mine, so I'm not gonna do anything, but it's nice to just have that ability to pull those 
uh, wireless networks without having to go into your settings app and switching from there. Another nice tweak to have is called reprovision. So that's this application right here. If you open that up, basically all that you want to do is sign in right here and then it's going to re-sign certs or applications even if those seven days uh, pass. So normally, you know, seven days pass and then you have to re-sign it. This is going to do this automatically for you as long as you sign in and put in your password there. Next is a tweak called selector. What this does is allow you to select text and translate directly from that menu. So you can see I typed out hola. If we go ahead and select that, you can see we'll have a translate here right there. We'll just tap on that and it pulls it right up in Google Translate and then you can just tap right here to close. Next is sleepy time and sleepy time is a really simple tweak. It's basically just going to give that amount of time left before your alarm goes off right below. So you can see there's six hours and 14 minutes left before my 730 alarm goes off. Next is small Siri. I really like this one. It's just a UI tweak basically where it doesn't make Siri take up the entire screen. So if I just say, hey Siri, you can see the notification pop up or the banner, I guess, for Siri pop up at the top and it's just nice, small, and it doesn't take up the whole screen. So it's really nice. Next we have SSH toggle and port. So if we go ahead and tap on this right here, this is going to allow you uh, to enable or disable SSH directly from your control center right there. Next we have status switcher. It's going to add your status bar to your app switcher as you can see right there. Next we have store switcher 2. So if you're for some reason region blocked from downloading specific applications or anything like that, this is going to add a button in your app store that allows you to switch accounts from your account page. So if you tap on your account page here, you're gonna see you have a new button right there. If we tap on that, it's gonna allow you uh, to choose a different account right from this screen. Next is Sugarcane 12. This is going to give you the percentages right here on your volume as well as your brightness. So you can see right now it's at 15, and if we scroll it up, it's up to 27. The volume is obviously at 0%, so let's move this back down. It changes dynamically just like that. Next is tap, tap, flip. What this does is allow you to just double tap on your uh, screen when you're inside your camera and it's going to flip the camera. So if we just double tap, it'll go to the front facing camera. And if we double tap again, it's gonna go to the back facing camera. Next up we have tap time. So if you weren't a fan of the Perfect Time 10S and you want something a little bit more simple, then you can use tap time. What this does is allow you to tap on the clock right up here in the top left hand corner and it's gonna show you the date just like that. Really simple, but a nice tweak. Next is tap video config. This is going to allow you to change your video resolution and frame rate directly from your camera app. So you literally just tap right up here and then you can change it to whatever you want. So now we're at 1080p at 30 frames per second or 4K at 60 frames. Next on my lock screen, I have a tweak installed called thinner. And what that does is it makes your clock and all the text right up here just thinner and it actually moves it over to the left. So if you want just a, a little bit of a different look on your lock screen, then you can download thinner. Next we have a tweak called Toglo and you can see right here what that does is it highlights uh, these particular icons or these toggles right up here in the top left hand corner. It looks like these are also highlighted. I'm not sure just because they're not uh, different colors but it looks like it's actually using those. But you can see if I tap on this one, it's gonna highlight those. And if then if I turn it back off or turn airplane mode off, it should connect, yeah, all three of those. Also for Toggle, if you just tap right here, then this is going to allow you to go through some of the settings here and you can change up what they look like, what color and all that good stuff. Next is a tweak called Wi-Fi passwords. This is a really uh, helpful one, I guess, if you don't remember your passwords to different Wi-Fi connections. So I connect to a lot of them, but this is the toggle right here. If you just tap on that, it's gonna list all the network connections that you connect to automatically and the password. Uh, I'm not gonna do that just because it's gonna show just basically all my passwords. Next is Vol Skip 11. This is going to allow you to skip tracks by holding the volume buttons. Also play pause by holding both of the volume buttons. So if we go ahead and go over to Spotify. So now what we wanna do is hold a volume button and it's going to go to the next song. If we hold the down volume button, it's gonna to go to the previous song. 
So this is basically really helpful if you have um, your device in your pocket, maybe you're at the gym and you don't want to pull your phone out of your pocket to change it up to go to the next song, then you can just hold your volume button and it's gonna go to the next song. Pretty nifty. Also, if you press them both at the same time, then it's gonna play or pause. So you can see it's playing right now. If I press them both at the same time, it's going to pause and it's going to play. Next up we have Anna Launch. So what this does is every time you launch an application, it does a different animation. You can obviously customize this within your settings, but just for instance, if we go ahead and tap on settings, you're gonna see that it rotates clockwise 360 degrees every time you tap on it. Now again, if you go into the settings here and you go into Anna Launch, you're gonna be able to change specific applications to do specific animations, or you can have them all do the exact same animation, which is what I have set up right now. So if you tap on animations right here, you can see, you can customize the duration of the animation right up here at the top. So if we want it to be a little bit shorter, you can do that right there. You also have per app animations, so you can change the specific app. So for instance, if we change Amazon to do a flip vertical animation, I don't believe you have to respring for these. So if we swipe over to Amazon right here, you can see how it did a different animation right there. So that's Anna Launch. Another tweak you probably noticed as I've been going through all these tweaks on the device is animations be fast. This is going to speed up all your animations. So for instance, when I open up uh, applications, it should be snappier. If I actually turn this off, you can actually notice a little bit better. Closing applications, opening them up. It just makes everything go a whole lot quicker. And uh, Animations Be Fast is one of those that I always install. So you have settings here for your springboard speed, open and closing applications, screen wake up speed, folders, and unlock cover sheet. So just for instance, if we go ahead and shorten this a little bit, you actually have to uh, respring your device. So if we go ahead and tap on it, it just makes things look and feel a whole lot quicker. Next is Artsy. Artsy colorizes your music player. So if we go into Spotify here and we start playing some music, let's actually turn this all the way down. And if we open this up, you should see a different background here. Depending on the music that you're playing, it just blurs out the album artwork in the background. Also, if you go back here, you can see that it themes the text color. And if we go into our control center, you can see it puts that in the background there. It changes up a lot of the UI colors and it has the album artwork right up there in the media widget. So I think this just looks really good depending on what um, album artwork you're using. It definitely adds a nice touch. And since we're in the control center here, another tweak that we have installed is called CC Linker. So what this does is allow you to go directly into the settings for a specific setting inside of your control center just by long pressing. So if we go ahead and open up this, let's just say that we wanted to uh, go to the Bluetooth section in settings, we're just gonna long press on that and it's going to open up my Bluetooth settings for me to configure. So it's just a quick way of accessing the settings that you have for specific toggles in your control center. Next up we have Unsub. This is a really straightforward tweak. It disables tweak injection in specific apps. And to select the application, you just tap right here and then you toggle on whatever application you wanna disable the tweak injection and then respring your device. Next is Vesta. So this is a really cool one. If you like the you know Android style app drawer, then you can download this tweak. It's exactly what it gives you. All you have to do from default is just swipe up from the bottom right hand corner and it's going to open up all of your apps right here. So you can just swipe through and open these up from your app drawer. You can change what gesture you use in order to activate the app drawer if you want to, and you can do that in the settings for Vesta. Next up, we have a tweak called Video Swipes, and this is all going to take place inside of your native video player. So if we go ahead and play this video here on Ready, you can see if I swipe down or up, it's going to increase or decrease the brightness. If we tap and hold, then it's going to play or pause. So we'll do that again, and if we swipe right or left this is going to track the video 15 seconds uh, either rewind or fast forward and if you want to dismiss the video then you can swipe down right from the middle of the video and it's going to dismiss we also have floaty dock floaty dock gives you the ipad style uh, dock and you can actually access it from anywhere just like on the ipad so if you just swipe up from the bottom this pulls up your dock right here you also have 
all your applications that you would normally have over here and then your recent apps right here on the right. You can actually uh, customize these as well, I believe, in the settings, but this is a nice little tweak to have in case you wanna access your dock from anywhere on your device or you just like the look of it, which actually looks pretty cool. And last but not least, we have a free theme called Lotus. So let's go ahead and go into an enemy and you can see that I have uh, Muse 3 installed. That's what I've been using this entire time, but I'm gonna disable that, enable Lotus, preview it and apply it. And this is a, a, a free theme and I still think it ties in pretty well with, you know, the minimalistic look and kind of the look I was going for here. But just swiping through here, you can see some of the icons. It has a nice color palette and it's worth checking out if you're into this type of theme. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you guys wanna see a perfect jailbroken setup, make sure you hit the like button on this video to let me know that's something you wanna see. More videos on the way and I'll see you in the next one.